Hey out there, fellow diecasters. I'm going to another insane three for Thursday here on Diecast Insanity. Hope you guys have been doing well. Hope you've uh, been uh, finding what you've been looking for. Hope you've also been enjoying the channel and uh, what we do here at, at uh, Diecast Insanity. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any um, ideas for anything, let us know, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can come up with. So uh, today we've got another three for or another three for Thursday. This is the Fast and the Furious edition, so let's take a look at what cars I picked. Alright, so in this week's Fast and the Furious edition, 3 for Thursday, we've got two premium cars, and we got one, basically, mainline car from the uh, Fast and the Furious, um, Fast and the Furious cars from Walmart. I deliberately picked three cars that are not well-known Fast and the Furious cars. So we're, we're going to give you guys a little bit of what, where these cars, what movie they appear in, as well as the release and all that stuff. So let's take a look at the mainline car first. This one's probably the coolest. This is an RX-7. This is the fourth release of the RX-7. And this beautiful white with the HKS on the side, Yokohama tires, and... Let's one below Yokohama. Can't tell what that one is below the Yokohama one. Very nice car. Very plain. Very cool car. I like this paint scheme. This car is from the very first movie. This is the car that Letty went up against in her drag race in, in the Fast and the Furious. So that's where this car comes from. It comes from the very first movie. Really cool car. I was hoping to pick this one up when I... Uh, when, they, when this particular series came out. This, I think, is out of the last series that they did for the Walmart. So, a uh, fairly recent car. But very nice, very cool, very plain, very um, very clean car. I like that car. Very cool. And then the other one, the other RX-7 I have is a premium RX-7. This one is from this year's 2020 Fast and the Furious uh, Fast Tuners set in this beautiful red... And kind of weird kind of graphics on the side. Very, very cool car. This car is from Too Fast, Too Furious, the second movie. This car was in the race scene with Brian and... Um, I can't remember her name, but the pink uh, two, Honda 2000. And I can't remember what the other cars in that race were. But this car is from that particular scene and particular movie. Of course, there is one other RX-7 in the in the Fast and the Furious universe, and we all know that that's Dom's car. I don't have that one yet. That's another one I need to get. I don't have that one, so I'm going to have to pick that one up. But this one's still a pretty cool car. I like it. Really, really sweet car there. And then the other one we have is a Sylvia S14 from the same set, from the fast tuner set this is the second release of the uh s14 sylvia and this really uh, really cool uh i would say kind of grayish copper i guess i would say color with the brown and yellow and and uh good striping on it with the black hood this car was not in any race or anything on fast and the furious this was a background car and if I remember right, it was in Too Fast, Too Furious, and you saw it as, as, um, uh, I'm thinking of his real name and not his character name. Uh, when Paul Walker's character drives up for the race in Too Fast, Too Furious, you see this car in the background. And that's the only, the only scene you see this car in. So it's a very short scene, um, very small. That's why if you probably really, a lot, of, a lot of people who collect Hot Wheels and they're into the Fast and Furious cars probably don't recognize this car because it's not a big screen time car. It was only seen in the background. So, very, very cool. Uh, and if we remember right, the Sylvia, the first edition was in uh, Car Culture... Uh, is it, not, is it street? Not street tuners. Yeah, street tuners. I think. I didn't. I never saw that. Said it was all white. If I remember right, that was the first release. This is the second release of the S14. 
So that's this week's three for Thursday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I love I love showing you guys my car collection and my cars. I just opened a bunch of older car culture cars. All the car culture cars that I did not have open, I have now opened. So um, uh, I just went through and did it. I said, screw it. I'm going to open them. I had a whole bunch. I had a bunch that I had like full complete sets, two complete sets of open and, and, and unopened. And I'm just to the point now where I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to open everything. So, with, I do that with all the new car culture cars anyways, because they're so expensive, it's too expensive to buy two sets. So, I just said, screw it, we're going to go back and open the old ones. I'll use the doubles that I've already got open and I still have in the package. I'll use those for customs or wheel swaps or whatnot. And, uh, just go from there. So, uh, hope you guys have a great week. I hope you have found what you're looking for this week. And, uh, I hope you remembered to leave some on the pegs for the collectors in your area, because they'd like to find them too. And just continue to have fun with the hobby, and we will see you guys in the next episode. I'm out.